What's up guys, LP Squirtle King here, welcome back to more Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. In the last episode we defeated Hydrus. In this episode there is the shrine to the next Colossus we're going to be fighting. We're going to be doing some more exploring. Um, now this next Colossus is actually very nearby. It really does not take long to get to his area at least. I mean I, I, it does take a little bit once you get into where his area is, which is pretty isolated. Um, it does take a little bit of walking to actually get to him itself, to the Colossus itself. But, um, in fact, it's right over this way. You can see. So, I'm going to be going near it, but we're not going to actually be going in there yet. There is no lizard tails or fruit to collect in his area, unfortunately. So, we're going to be going just, um, I believe, I believe that's, actually, let's check the map. That would be, um, east. So, it's just to the east of where his fight is, where his fight takes place. Um, Kuromori is this um, next one. I mean, this next Colossus we're about to fight is just a. He's wow, he's a bastard. <laughs> he really is. Um, he's probably the toughest Colossus I've ever seen. I've only ever died in a Colossus fight unintentionally, twice, and both times had to do with him. So, actually I've died uh, three times and one of those times was not against him, but that's a story for another fight later on. Um, but twice to this guy, and it's just because he can kill you so fast. You'll see, he's probably, in my opinion, the toughest one to fight um, for this very reason. Well, I wouldn't say he's the toughest. He's not tedious at all. If you know what you're doing, he's not difficult. But if you're if you make a mistake, he, you will pay for it. You really will. So we just passed where the entrance to his fight is at um, takes place. We're gonna be heading over this way, and I'm gonna be picking up a couple lizard tails, fruit, stuff like that. I don't. I mean, I'm pretty sure we already were over here, like in the second or third episode or something like that. So I'm gonna go a little bit further south um, and see if there's anything else. I th I'm pretty sure we already. Well, actually, I mean, I'm gonna check if we have any of the fruit here. Just to make sure. Oh, hey, what do you know? There was some fruit here. Good thing I checked. Let's see if there's any more. I believe we've already been over here. Maybe I was actually, I don't think I went this way. I think I went over that way last time. So, aggro, I'm not even pointing it at you. Calm down. Alright. Meaning the arrow. Don't get your minds out of the gutter, people. That's what I was referring to. Okay. Aggro, horse, I need you to come over here, please. I'm not going to shoot you, I promise. I'm, I'm not going to... Okay. Sorry, I had to shoot him after I said that. Anyways, let's go over this way. There's the one point of realism they missed. The arrows just bounced off of aggro, but that's okay because we're not allowed to hurt our horse anyway. We, You can't hurt your horse because if you did, that would break the game. It really would. Because there's some fights he's so freaking necessary in, you'd, you'd really, it literally would just break the game if you were to do that. So anyways, let's head on over here. I can see another tree and a shrine that we can go pick up a tail and... um. Some fruit. Uh, speaking of a tail, um, you notice the hint was. Wait, oh, I always thought I could grab that hawk. Dang it! Every single time a hawk flies over my horse, I try to do that, and I do usually do it successfully. But that one was way too high up, so I couldn't grab it. But anyways, the hint was a tail trapped within a pail. And you're probably thinking, what the hell does that even mean? Um, well, I will show you in the next episode. <laughs> you will see what I what it means. Hawk. Hawk. Okay, I'm not going to even try. Oh, there's two trees here. Oh. How wonderful. Okay. And... I do not see the lizard anywhere on this end. Let's try over here. There he is. I see him. Do you see him? There you go. Oh, he went around to the side. Alright, keep your distance from the shrine so that you don't startle him. There we go, there we go, there we go. Aggro, don't you startle him. There we go, and we got him, alright. Beautiful shot, okay.
What's funny is, is I haven't actually even practiced. I mean, I practiced this Let's Play a little bit yesterday, the day before I recorded this video. But aside from that, where did he go? There, there's where his tail's at. Um, aside from that, I have not practiced this Let's Play. I haven't even played this game since my computer died, and I was forced to put this Let's Play on halt. So, um, on hold. Anyways. Ooh, look at dove. Pretty. Um, two doves. But anyways, yeah, so, this, I pretty much have no experience over, I'm um, with right now. I really don't. I'm just, I mean, like, I'm, you know, so if I have bad gameplay, that's why. But in all honesty, I, when I practiced this yesterday, I kicked ass, man. I mean, I'm not just gonna, you know, put a, too much of a burden upon myself and say that, you know, I expect to kick ass in this recording, but, in this recording session, but, I'm just saying that... <laughs> You know, I guess, you know, sometimes practicing a Let's Play really isn't necessary. <laughs> I really hope, it, I really hope that I can perform as well as I was doing yesterday, though. Like, I was beating these Colossus faster than I usually beat them in normal mode. It was crazy. Anyways, ooh, there's a lot of fruit on this one. Usually the trees that have this particular type of fruit have a lot of it. This is the exact same fruit we saw in the tree that was near Avion, the jackpot tree. Um, do you have a glowing tail, sir? You do not, okay. For a second, I thought you did. Alright. We have way too much fruit for our own good, but I still want to grab it. Just because, um, I am, you do not need to grab near as much fruit in Loser Tales as I'm doing in this Let's Play. If you want to see a Let's Play where you don't grab, where, you know, if you want to see me, you know, do a lot <laughs> less than I am in this one, because I am pretty much overpowering myself. With all the stuff that I'm collecting. Go watch my normal mode let's play. I don't think I had. I mean I, I might have had a little bit more. Well I did have more grip. Because um, in normal mode. Um, every single time you defeat a Colossus. Your grip mode, um, grip meter. Lar um, gets larger. In this. In hard mode it is not though. You can only get a larger grip meter. By collecting lizard tails. Um, and I think the same goes for your health too. So but if you want to see. You know a, one where I'm not really collecting a lot. Go go watch my normal mode let's play, even though I don't consider it near as good as this one has been. Um, I guess you could go watch it if you want. Um, I definitely can defeat these Colossus with little or no grip or health. I mean, like, no additional fruit or lizard tails collected. But I just I just want to have, you know, there's got to be a reason for us to do our exploration. You know, it's can't, it can't just be me talking and us just walking around. we got to have a go um, goal or something to accomplish here. And I didn't save back at that shrine, but you know what? I'm gonna cut. <laughs> yeah, see you guys in a second. Alright, we're back here at the shrine. Let me save real quick and can see what the location is named. So, let's save over Northern Span. It's called the Green Cape. All right. It's funny because Wander has a green cape. Anyways, um, over there, so <laughs> I just kind of wanted to point this out because I noticed it while I was writing. Um, that is a very, very, very important la location for later in the game. You're going to notice something if you look over there. That there is a lot of architecture over there. I mean, it's not just, you know, stone. There's actually architecture up there. And you're going to see why when we get to it. But that over there is pretty much a fortress. A very, very decrepit fortress, mind you. Very much so, um, very more so, uh, more so than, you know, a lot of the other fortresses you'll see that are around here. Around in the, um, Forbidden Lands. In fact, this next Colossus we're about to fight is actually, his fight takes place in one of these temples. Um, but that is actually a very decrepit and destroyed um, fortress over there. Oh, I missed you, Hawk. Why did you have to ascend just as I jumped? Sigh. Anyways. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Anyways, after jumping into Aggro's butt, I think now I'm going to cut back to the tunnel that en um, that enters, um, or that leads to the 8th Colossus fight. So, see you guys in a bit. Thought I'd actually cut to right back here so you could recognize 
um, where we're coming from. We basically came from over in that direction. You should recognize this from when we from the beginning of the episode. Um, so it's just over here, and there's a cave right out there, a little further ahead. There's the mouth of a cave that we have to enter. Now, going through this cave, um, it's kind of it's like a really it's like a more like a tunnel than a cave. Where is it? Did I walk? I better not have walked past it. That'd be stupid if I did. There it is. Okay, yeah, it's right here. Okay, going through this. We're gonna go through this little tunnel real quick, and then I'm gonna dismount aggro. But I'm gonna be careful about doing that because down there is a bottomless pit, and I don't want to fall. Okay, okay, aggro, calm down, buddy. I need to dismount you, so I'm gonna get in a safe position. Oh gosh, don't fall. Okay, now we're gonna walk across because aggro walks like a tenth of a mile an hour across this entire thing. So we're just gonna walk across ourselves, and plus we can't bring him into this fight anyways. So, yeah. And, when you come out to the other end, you're going to see something very beautiful. I love this area. Oh. Look at that. Look at this place. It's so pretty. If I were to live anywhere in the Forbidden Lands, this is where I would live. This this place is just so pretty. Ugh, I just love the design of it. I just gotta walk over here. You could swim across to the temple. I prefer to just walk because it's faster. Plus the door is on this side anyway to get inside. Because yes, we are going inside this temple here. Um, I guess a glitch I could point out here is that um, by aggro launching, which I've explained in earlier episodes, which is basically where you leap off of aggro and do it in such a way that you'll go really high, you can actually land on top of this temple, and you can walk around on it. So that's just there, and it actually, yeah, it has a solid s structure in most parts. There are parts where you can fall through, though, and, and die. But anyways, uh, here we are in the temple. There, this temple does have a little bit of platforming involved, which, in fact, we're about to encounter right now. So we have to give her on that side. We'll, what we have to do is we have to climb up these pillars. Then we just gotta scale around. And leap back. And up we go. Alright. With that, guys, this has been LP Squirtle King. If you like this video, please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, links in the description below. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. I try to reply to almost every single one of them. I will see you guys next time for more Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus.